Hello, listen YouTube, the apocalypse is upon us and the only future is venturing deep underground into a bunker. That's where I'm going now, please follow me. In order to follow me, all you have to do is continue to watch this clip, which this bit will stop and then I'll be in the bunker. You know, like, like when someone walks out the door and then it, it cuts and then they're in the street. That, it'll be like that. And then the next bit's the bunker, okay? Now. Welcome, Fatia and Phil, to my bunker. This is like a different take on the on the theme of outsiders. Society's collapsed, but instead of being out in the wild surviving, we've dug a hole. <laughs> now, obviously, we have to learn to live off preservable foods such as powdered soup. And perhaps you'd like to uh, tell me what flavours you think they are. Okay. It's like a fun game. That's right. what we're reduced to in, I, the, I mean, in the bunker. And people who aren't actually in a bunker are reduced to watching it. And those, you know, bear them in mind. But Can I, I just drink I, it like this? Yeah. That's, that's the joy of the cup of soup. Is it a drink or is it a meal? Oh, that's, that's lovely, actually. Really? It's like, a, it's like a salty sour cabbage kind of thing. Spicy. This is tasty, you know, but I it's really, a bit chilly and I don't really like chilly. Like my too. lips are burning. I feel like I've got an STD or something. <laughs> that would be an interesting way of marketing us. It gives you the feel of an STD. <laughs> yeah, STD so it's got the, the glamour of a sexually transmitted illness, but without the long-term health <laughs> impact. Is it celery soup? The yeah. celery gets in all sorts of... But you, can't, celery. you can't front up with celery. But Why you... can't celery go extinct? I, I Why does it, it have to be the tigers? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> okay, the next thing you say I will take as your final answer. This is spicy cabbage soup. You're half right. Okay. Well, that is beef and sauerkraut. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Sauerkraut, kind of... I think, is pickled cabbage, basically. Right. I did not know that was a soup option, beef and sauerkraut. No, well, they've deliberately picked unusual soups oh. to make this bit incredibly fun. I think between us, we really nailed the, the, there being a sort of sour cabbage-like yeah. vegetable yeah. in these. Points. This has been the best soup naming segment so far. <laughs> the others were nowhere near this close. Now, I asked you to bring here two objects each, something that would help you survive in a post-apocalyptic bunker and something that would help you thrive. Um, so, Fatia. Yeah. I'm just going to get it. Hold on. A trusty little place. Don't panic. It's just a bath bomb. Ah. We can have a family bath in the lake. Well, it wouldn't be a lake, but it might be a sort of underground sewer. And that's yeah. Yeah. Yeah, If we're very lucky. <laughs> it would be a one-off treat, wouldn't it? Yes. Um, thank you. What's your Thrive object? Oh, it's my Thrive object is um, Brian Eno's Oblique Strategies. You pick out a card and it gives you a sort of mysterious uh, bit of advice as to how to proceed. In the apocalypse, there are a lot of decisions to be made, a lot of difficult choices to be yeah. made. I mean, what is it? Cards? Yeah, think up a, think up a survival situation that and I have to... gives the answer. Yeah, so okay. what might I be... We've got one gun left and with one bullet. Okay. Should you take it and try to find a deer for us to all eat and live? Or you can Cards. use the bullet to kill David and then we can eat him. Okay, oh, okay, that's good, that's good. Okay. So do we use the final bullet to kill a deer to eat or do we use it to kill David to eat? Yes. This one says, faced with a choice, do both. Okay. Well, that's, that's pretty perfect. That's pretty great. And there's one, so maybe, there's one bullet. Well, maybe, so you've got to, what, line me up line, in front of the that's deer? That's right. It's doubled the who, camp. Who's, who's this joker who came up with these? Brian, Brian Eno. Brian the, Eno. Yeah. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Brian, you didn't even listen. Right. That's so yeah. What okay. have you brought to survive? Let me go into my secret pen again. Yeah. Tweezers. Oh. Okay. I'm North African, I'm Moroccan, AKA hairy bastard. <laughs> That's why I got this. And then also we can use it to open tins, pick locks. Splinters as well. That's yeah. good as well. I had a terrible splinter a couple of years ago. My God, it was right in my foot. And you ca I kept thinking I'd got it and I hadn't. <laughs> and then I put this cream on it. And then there was a day when the splinter came out and it had been in my foot for, for like three weeks. This is the kind of story was, you would tell in an apocalypse. It's one of the best moments of my life when that splinter came out. That's extraordinary. I, anyway, uh, what have you brought to survive? Um, to survive I have brought a very important piece of equipment. It's my rice cooker. No. Everyone says, oh, what do you need a rice cooker for? 
And then they also say, oh, I never cook rice, it's so hard. Don't you just do it in a saucepan? It's very it's easy to burn, you've got to get all the measurements right. So it's, as it were, the rice equivalent of a toaster. Yes. And obviously, yeah, when I... the power goes down, it's not going to be as, as effective as the tweezers. Yeah, I haven't really thought that but, bit um, through, but... But, well, I'm sure Brian will tell you what to do. OK, yes. the power's gone down. What do we do with the rice cooker? Where's the edge? Where does the frame start? Where does the, where is the edge? Yeah. Uh, Let's some, be honest. I think he uh, peaked with face with a choice. Do both. <laughs> okay, I have some gifts for you in in return, uh, and this is a thing. It's you can toast uh, marshmallows on it, which frankly I wouldn't want to do because of their disgusting sugary flavour. But many people like them. You I could, never say no to free you food. Put, if you prong up those. Uh, if you prong up those bad boys, that would be uh, <laughs> an entertaining way of expressing it. Huh? It rotates. Oh, my cool. days. You do. Look, and a sh food and a show. That's the first gift. Uh, the second gift yeah. is even better. These are edible cups. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, I think it might be a chocolatey liquid. Yes, it's there? lovely. Very potable. Oh, the oh, oh, goodness. Goodness. Blow it, blow it, blow it. Oh. Oh, we survived our first yeah, emergency, see? Yeah. Can okay. we eat the cup now? Yeah, 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 if you've drunk the liquid. Not all of it. Do you want to drink all of it? Really, all well, the, as you said, it might be a bit if messy you if you don't. eat the cup before you've drunk the liquid, a, f yeah. a crack might go oh, all the okay. way down to the bottom and then we have unwanted hilarity on camera. <laughs> What's it taste like, the edible cup? Nothing. It tastes like cardboard. Can I Flavor? try a bit? I'm going to keep you going. Flavourful enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Not very Moorish. Well, thank you both. Fantastic. I'm for, for joining me in this apocalypse. Can I have a normal marshmallow? I can soak some of this up. You've got yeah. a you candle can grill. Eat. Are you, you going to eat this? No, no, please go ahead. You see? Do you want one? I'll make one for you. That's quite a good idea. These no. are better actually, just like this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so that what that is is a marshmallow worsener, <laughs> and it revolves. That fire's getting a bit lively. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is, yeah. It's a marshmallow fire. I'm wearing 100% polyester, you know. Right. Just so well, you know. The amount of hairspray in this. <laughs> this. This look doesn't just happen. Like and subscribe. I imagine they're both doable with some sort of click. Uh, and if you like it, you might want to share the fact that you like it, which will give us a very, very small amount more power in the media landscape. And you will get, well, you'll get the sensation of that click, won't you, in your finger. You'll know you've been alive because something on the screen will have changed because you did it. So that'll be nice. Um, or you could make an Airfix model or read a book.